the truth. You can't handle the truth. See this? Let's see if I can. Oh, Did you see this? <laughs> no, I, 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 I haven't see seen this? it. I haven't watched Je I haven't watched Jesse Lee Peterson in look, a minute. Look at this. Stop, Stop praying. praying. It ain't working. Oh Lord. <laughs> not, even, not even not even his silent prayer. Come on. Stop praying. <laughs> it ain't working. Let me let me let me play some of this. You want you want to check this out? This is recent. This is this week. Or last week, I think. Let's see. What's he? Get? What's this guy saying? Nay, if you were not I there, know. I asked the question. Don't even worry about has it. Has God ever helped you in a situation? Have God has God ever helped you while you were in the situation? Oh, I think I and did the see this. The reason for that is because I've noticed that. Um, or listen to it. I hear people say all the time that God helped them in the situation. And whatever it might be, right? That God helped them in the situation. But when you really, really talk to them or you pay attention, they were really not helped in the situation. Because they either, they may have stopped one situation for a minute, but they end up going back to that situation or they'll create another situation. Why in the situation? You know what that sounds like? I paused in there. <laughs> He's word crazy. Salad. He, he, word salad is right. He's basically describing life. If you fix one thing, three more things are going to happen. I mean, that's just life. But his, life. what he's trying to say is that God doesn't help you. That's what he ends up saying. God doesn't help you. God doesn't help you. You're on your own. They will create another situation. And so the devil would tell them that they're out of this one situation. But now you're in another one. And then they consult with the devil, their mind, which is not their own, for a solution to that situation. End up in another situation. You don't so say. So it's like they're never free. And I've noticed that. And I'm thinking, what the? And a good example of it, too, is that I know so many you know, I counsel with a lot of people. I know a lot of people who say oh, that they went and forgave. I'm going to call Jesse for They counsel. forgave their mothers. They forgave their fathers. <laughs> and now they can see. They have love oh, and no man. longer have hate. But the moment uh, a situation should come along for them, they overreact. They begin angry. And I'm like, what about the principles that you say you learn from God, you got from God? Because I've noticed that once you truly, truly forgive, God take the spirit of anger away from you. And so no situation can make you angry. Now that doesn't mean that the things will happen that you won't disagree with, but no situation can make you angry. No situation sure will make you go after revenge and all that because you have perfect love. Your heart is created we have returned to the father i'll tell you what one of the one of the symptoms and 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 i'm not saying this i'm not, i'm not making one of the symptoms of psychopathy is shallow emotional affect they have a shallowness of emotion even their anger is oftentimes not the type of anger like not that really volatile anger i think this man may be psychopathic or have a, have very very strong tendencies toward of psychopathy because he he doesn't react have you ever seen him sit there with that blank that blank stare you know that I'm pretty sure is, he's on a bunch of like painkillers or something bro because mm -hmm. i mean he just like you said he's just he's dud all the time like he's got to be taking some kind of uh I don't know. Something. I think it's him. I think it's who he is. I think he he just does not have emotions. Did you ever, did you ever watch it where he like he was gone for like almost like a week or two because he he like fell out onto the mic? Oh yeah, well, I think he had a stroke, right? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Bless his heart. You know, I, I definitely put him up in prayer. Yeah, he needs to be prayed for.
Amen. Let's, I'm going to play some more of this crazy. Let's, yeah. So you no longer overreact. You, you no longer get on. mad. You're able to go through situations to overcome them. But it's not happening with a lot of people. It's like in their mind, they think they have forgiven. But then what I really realize is that yeah. the devil and God are two different spirits, entities, or whatever you want to call it, right? God <laughs> whatever is you want to call love, it. pure love. Pure this is love. And, and it's yeah. not emotional love. You can't feel it. You can't taste it. You can't touch it. You okay. God, God is love, but it's not emotional love. You can't feel it. You can't touch it. Touch it. You can't taste it. Then what? What is it, Jesse? You can't. Love has emotion to it. If you love without emotions, you're a psychopath. You you feel love, and you. Yeah, you. If you're not feeling life, brother, yeah, I don't. I don't know what's. What are you doing? This is this is madness. Madness. You go you know, through the you valleys. Get this, constantly are going through valleys. Feeling of it sometimes, practice. but it's not like I almost don't want to tell you that because you think you have it and you don't. But um, God, because He's of love, and in Him there is no hate, no anger, no punishment, no none of that stuff. He. Oh, say now we just we just read the part where it said those who judge others and do the, those practices themselves, they reject grace. God's wrath remains on those people. And I'm pretty and sure God makes judgments. I mean, all through the Old Testament, he's judging and making his whole wrath known. Yes. And and the thing is that God poured his wrath out on his son for those right. who be believed in him yeah. are free from the wrath of God through the grace of God, through faith in Jesus Christ alone. But if but you, you reject still that. You still want to know the wrath of God. You still if, need to know that. You need to read that Old Testament 40. That's why it's that big. But if you reject what Christ did, you are still under the wrath of God. Amen. That 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 wrath has not changed for those who reject Christ. Amen. Keep you away from situations. He keeps you away from them. And and if you stay on that straight and narrow, wow. then you're gonna see that when you really learn to walk in the light of God in the present, <laughs> not in the past or in the future, because when you're in the past or future. Because in God, there is no time, right? But if when you're in the past or the future, you're walking with the devil. And the devil... He's got more of a doctrine of the devil than, than of anything accurate about Christ. You know what I'm saying? He's like a backyard, back alley production, of porn production of the gospel, and it's gross. It, it is. I'm going to run him. Bring Let's you see. into Sorry. situations. God prevent you from going into situation when you're present with him, but the devil bring you into situation. God lead you away from temptation. The devil leads you into temptation because the devil God is, is dark with you. and evil. And Apparently in him there is no love. <laughs> Nothing but the destruction of the soul, right? So... That's why, I, that's why I asked, has God ever helped you in a situation? And and I don't know anyone that got help in a situation. Wow. Wow. Not from God. Wow. And Satan oh, ain't going to help you. He'll help you. He'll make you think you're over the situation by giving you something that looked like it's nice. But then you soon find out that's not it either. <laughs> so God doesn't lead you. God doesn't lead you or help you in the situation he prevents you from being in the situation and the only way that you go to know god because i realize that i and other people we have not been everything we've been taught about god mm. was intellectually right in some case in that yes he sent his son yes his son died for us but the understanding of that is not there for most people if for the people who have taught you about him in the past. And so a lot of people think that God is helping them and he's not. Wow. So who is? He's just, 
This is just bad. I mean, and he's got a and church you're just service. Helping yourself. Yeah. He's basically saying God has left you on your own. When yeah. when when the Word of God says, "I will never leave you nor forsake you," you know what I'm saying. Now that God has left you, you need to go in my prayer closet and silently just. Oh yeah, yeah. Up. He's he goes into that silent prayer. So I mean, by his teaching, you can't have a relationship with God. You know, you you can't have a relationship with Him because you're on your own. He's teaching a, he's he's making God like a father that abandons his children. God has you helped me. Who, you know, you know who else believes that? The Pope. Who's, wow. The Pope. He he blatantly said, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, there's something mentally wrong with you. I guess wow. so. Man, this was the Pope that the holy man, the Pope said this. Huh. Uh, he's he's in that that group that talked about due to your hard and impenitent hearts, you're storing up for yourself wrath on the day of judgment. And my heart breaks for him because he doesn't have long to repent. No, no. And he's yeah. You keep, I'm not judging him, but by the evidence, by the evidence, I'm concerned for him. Very concerned. They're calling the devil God, the true God. Wow. Because God would not let, he doesn't judge you. He doesn't punish you. He doesn't hold anything against you. He doesn't put guilt upon you because he knows that you're born into sin, what they call sin. Everything he just said. Oh, what they call sin. You don't believe every, in sin. What you bring up sin for, Jesse? Yeah, he, he, everything he said, he just lied on God. He just lied on the scripture. That he that that we read. This is this. Amen, I mean, friend, it's crazy. And that you couldn't help yourself. You couldn't help yourself. He, so that's why he want you to walk in the light, walk in the presence of him, and he would not let you go into any situation at all. You have peace on earth. So if you're overreacting, you're still getting angry. After you say you've gone and forgiven, just know you have not. You may went and you may have gone and done it intellectually, but spiritually it didn't work for you. Wow. Because you didn't see it for yourself. So you know, I'm gonna pause this a minute. He so his followers would be going along and never 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 having the way to be saved shared with them never having the true gospel preached to them <laughs> and and now he's telling them if you have one iota of anger or if you feel if if your emotions aren't under control you, you haven't forgiven you're not right with God so he he doesn't teach a a faith and grace alone message. If you haven't no. changed to some certain extent, you're not right with God. And you got to run through Jesse's gauntlet. Yeah. Silent prayers, yeah. forgiving your mamas, yeah. forgiving your daddies, yeah. forgiving your dog who bit you when you were five years old. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's crazy. And I, I, I just feel for the people who've fallen into this. I called him one time and I, cause my mom's dead. I mean, not one time. I've called him a few times, and I was just like, you know, my mom's deaf. How do I forget? My mom did, was a beautiful woman. And like, I can't think of one thing that my mom did wrong to me, and I was trying to tell him that. And I'm serious about this. You can ask my wife, my brother, my sister, my cousins. my Everyone could not tell you a bad story about my mother. She's a deaf woman who is, like, the most pure, innocent woman, is very humble, works at Subway for $9 an hour. And I'm trying to tell him, like, bro, there's nothing I can forgive her for. She didn't do anything wrong. I have nothing to forgive her for. And he was like, well, all right then. Mm -hmm. And just hung the phone up. I mean, that's all it was. So there was nothing he could tell me. You know what I mean? It was like. Yeah, I've seen I've seen him talk people in to, for, you know, people have said that about their moms. You know, I don't have anything. Not to one thing. My... She didn't like drop something on your toe when you were younger and didn't make you get mad. Like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just he's goofy. He 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 I'm sees sorry. he sees the entire world through his the lens of his circumstances, if you know what I'm saying. 
Absolutely. His anecdotal evidence, like, it's just like, it's a goofy lens to look through. <laughs> My wife said he obviously don't love his mother or hated his mom. Oh, I got a video where he said he practically says that. <laughs> you must be born of the heart. If your heart has not been changed from anger to love, you're still of the devil. The devil is your daddy. You're dancing with the devil. Because there's no way that you would not love even your enemy if you had love, if you were of love, of the nature of God. That's why he changed the heart first, so you can have the power of him in you, and he would change everything. He'll take care of it all. We were free. Of ourselves, we can do nothing, and of ourselves, we know nothing. And so you cannot change yourself at all. Just think of how many times you've tried to change your habits. You've tried not to be angry. You've tried not to hold anything against anyone. And you fail at it because you cannot. We, as human beings, do not have the power to change ourselves about anything. We need the help, the power of love, which is of God. And that's not going to happen until you that. truly see you're wrong for resenting and forgive. And you will be born of the heart. And the rest, <laughs> he will take care of you, destroy the ego. But you have to let that happen. You can't make that happen. I don't, I don't think so a very interesting question. Has God ever helped you in a situation? We talked about that on Sunday. Check it out if you were not there or, yeah, or watched it online. <laughs> Podcast by going to jessaleepeterson.com. Amazing. <laughs> and that's a, I think that was his biblical question. That was his biblical question. Well, I have a, I have a church service, too. I think I'm going to... The church service yeah. is a mess. Look at this. Look at this. Here's the church service. <laughs> He, it says, has God ever helped you in a situation? And he goes on to say, I think I'm just going to do this on a different video. He goes on to say, God has never helped him. And he's a Christian. Um, look at this army vet, dude. The army vet. Trump Peterson 24. He's got something wrong with him. God's never helped him. Well, Trump is his uh, uh, great white hope, according to him. So. Mm. Wow, wow. Amen.